The subject I kind of wanted to talk about, this is just the little tidbits that are running through my mind as I do different things. When I was going on my trip, as usual, I go to Google Maps and I plot out my trips on Google Maps. I had to hook up on my bike for my GPS here, but I never even pulled it out and used it. I didn't need it. I, in fact, I didn't even need my map so much. I kind of remember because it was familiar territory, but it's always nice to plan out your routes anyway. Have a, have a plan, something to fall back on, because someday my memory may not help me out so much. So I'm looking at the Google Maps and the routes, and uh, when you plan out your route, especially if you do a custom route like I do, you can save it as a link, or you can, I think any route, whether it's one that Google plans for you, you plan yourself, you can save it as a link, but it's this big, huge link that's as long as your arm, if not your leg, and you can click in a little box, and it'll give you a short link. It just shortens it down by, I think it's something like maps.goo.gl, and then a four slash and five letters. So it's a quite easier link to uh, send in emails or I just basically copy and paste them and put them in a notepad document so that I can, I don't have to go back and recreate the route again. Once I created a custom route, I can go back and put it right back up on the screen again and then either look at it or modify it or whatever. And I don't have to redo it all again. It just helps a lot. But with my geek mind, what I was first thinking when I did the shortened URL is... Uh, five letters doesn't really give you a lot of possibilities if it's five letters then I noticed it was capitals and uh, lowercase letters so but there's only five of them in the shortened length so that would be 52 to the fifth power which would be around 380 million possibilities which sounds like a heck of a lot but you got to figure the fact that I've used it lots and lots and created a lot of these small links. And I've even gone back and checked some of them that I created quite a while ago and they're still working so they don't like, at least in a short period of time, um, reuse the same link over again. I'm going to keep some of them around just to see how long it lasts, but still if you figure uh, 380 million, that's about the population of the United States. That would only be enough for each person in the United States to make one small route plan and then save it as a shortened link. Now, naturally, not everybody does it, but suppose people like me that have probably done it a dozen or more times, so. If people did it a dozen or more times just in the U.S., that would use up all the possibilities. And if you did, instead of a combination of five letters, and it never seems to use numbers, it seems to just be using letters, if you just added one more letter sequence to it, which would be 52 to the 6th power, you go up to 19 billion possibilities. So I don't know if it's just the fact that they uh, haven't run out of these combinations yet and so many people haven't used them, or do they after a year or two expire and then they use them over again for a different person's route planning? Don't really know. But these are just kind of curiosities that go through my mind. When I see something like that, I kind of have this built-in calculator in my mind that I'm thinking a five-letter combination just isn't going to cut it. Because when you raise 52 to the fifth power, it just isn't going to be enough. Because after all, I mean, Google's a, a worldwide thing, not just people in the U.S. use it. I mean, people plan out trips and stuff all over the world. So, um, like I said, I don't know. Maybe they're going to add another letter in the future or something or I'm sure they've got some kind of contingency plans, but it's just kind of the, it's it's the kind of stuff that my mind thinks of and makes me curious.